Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to my channel. Miss Peggy here. How y'all doing today? Guess what? Got my penny glasses on. So, what does that mean? Yes, we do have a penny list. So, I'm so, so excited. Um, you know, we hadn't really had many pennies uh, from... Uh, this year, I mean, we're barely on the 10th day, right? But we had the, um, <sighs> what was it? The hostess was the last thing that pennied, and I didn't get none. Boo-hoo. That's okay, but I sure did enjoy seeing y'alls. And uh, my friend, Boondocking Wood Dennis, down in South Corpus, Port, uh, Rockport, Texas, he said he got quite a few of them, and he took them and donated them. So that's just a really nice thing to do is donate them or eat them, like Bluebell. Eat all you can and share all the rest, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm so glad um, to be here today. I still got my gift card here for Subway. I do intend to go and get me one of those. It's just been really cold here in North Texas, and we are not used to it being cold. So it's going to be warming up here just before you know it. So I'll be getting out to do that. But I want to thank y'all for all the subscribers. And I want to thank y'all for all the new subscribers. Uh, I've got several of y'all. And um, I want to remind y'all, if you're new here, which I know I have new people... Uh, go to the app store where you get your apps. Download the Dollar General app. It's a yellow square with a DG, like Dollar General, in the box. Download that. That's how we find our pennies. And, um, yeah, so, um, Man, I wish I had got some of them hostess. You know, it's been a few years, but I did get a lot of hostess, and I think it's been two years ago. But, uh, yeah, I ate hostess till I was blue in the face, but I do love me some cupcakes. But um, before we get into the penny list, I want to tell you, all I have been practicing, and I've got a new dance video that I'm working on. So uh, I hope you all will enjoy that. And... Um, I've been working on it for a long time. Actually, I was working on it when I had that high blood pressure spike that put me in the hospital in April that uh, they found that brain aneurysms with that uh, CT scan. Be careful, Charlie. Bless his heart. Charlie's getting to where he can't even see, so he runs into lots of stuff. But, uh, yeah, that's when they found um, my aneurysm, so... Um, now nah, Charlie made me forget what I was saying, but anyway, um, yeah, so it's been a, um, good year to get behind us, but we are looking forward to the new year. So, um, oh, I know, I was talking about the dance video. I was planning that dance video before I had that high blood pressure spike, then I went to the hospital, then I got that aneurysm, then I had to get on... Uh, that aneurysm is repaired, and then I had to get on the Berlinta. It made me shortness of breath for five months, and so I didn't get to do the video. But now, I've been uh, practicing it again, and I'm getting ready to do it. So I'm going to be putting that one out um, in the not-too-far future, but it's coming up. I just wanted to tell you all about it. But uh, anyway, yeah... Now, today's penny list is, drum roll, y'all probably already know, but it's the Non-Core Private Brand Sun Care. Now, this Sun Care that is already on 90% off, if you go there today, tomorrow, you can get this uh sun care sunscreen that's gonna penny you can get it for 90 percent off so say like if the sunscreen is five dollars you can get it for 50 cents and i've got one of them up on the screen right now and uh it'll show you that 
That's one of the ones on the penny list for Tuesday, and it is already scanning 50%. So sometimes when we have uh, penny items coming up, they don't go down to the clearance thing. They'll just be on the sale price or regular price and go straight to a penny. But this one is, and uh, so you can get any of these. Now, it's uh, the private brand is Studio Selection, all except two. And those two at the bottom are the Wild Tropics. And I'm not so sure. I haven't smelt them, but sometimes those... Hawaiian tropical suntan lotions smell so good. They got the coconut smell to them, and oh, it smells like you could just eat it, right? <laughs> but anyway, the studio selection you've got uh, the sheer touch, you've got the sea spray, you've got um, the uh, tan oil. Spray tan dry oil that will uh, give you a tan, and uh, then you have some uh, some more sunscreen that's a spray. Then you've got a beach guard that's for when you go to the beach, and um, it's a sunscreen. Then you've got a baby sun lotion. Then you've got um, a Studio Select sunscreen spray. And then you've got some of the sun lotion in a tube that you just squeeze out like toothpaste and rub it on. And um, then you got some kids lotion. So you've got sports, you've got uh, dry and wet, you've got uh, kids, and you got tropic. So I have gotten every one of these. I have found the visuals that go with them, the exact ones. I have put the barcode on it for you so you can see the picture and the barcode, the UPC. And you can take them, uh, screenshot them and take them with you to the store. And you can pull them up while you're looking for them. Or like me, I make a list. I take my list with me. And um, yeah, once you study the visuals, sometimes when you just see them, you'll say, oh, that's the one because you recognize the bottle. But uh, these sunscreens, I have seen them in that black island, square island thing that you can put stuff on four sides. It's up close to the register. I have seen them in there with the um, energy drinks. And they even that's where they kept the um, sanitizer, hand sanitizer and stuff. Those little spray ones that we got for a penny. They were a lot of them were up there. But that's where you can find the suntan spray, the uh, sunscreen. And I have even seen some of my stores. They're on the top shelf over by the hair care stuff. So if they running low on it and some of them have been sticking them somewhere else besides in that island because they're using that island for other seasonal things that they're putting on there but uh yeah look there and i have seen some sun care stuff in the clearance aisle before so uh, i got one store that keeps the sun care stuff and the hand wipes uh on a wall that's right by the register so you kind of got to like stand next to the register to get to that wall and get the stuff off that's where i found those hand wipes uh last week before last i had to like kind of stand by beside the register to get it it wasn't behind the register it was just on the wall that the register butts up close to so I've always gotten stuff there because they I don't know why they have that. It's the only store I have that has that little section right there. But uh, yeah, so look look all around because they could be on an end cap. Um, you know, it's out of season right now for summer stuff. So they're going to stick it somewhere. They can stick it anywhere in, in the medicine aisles or any of the uh, hair care aisles. Um, just look on the top shelf. That's where I found some of the Slim Fast whenever they pennied was in the uh, hair care aisle sitting on the top shelf. But anyway, uh, yeah, we've got, I think, 11 of them. 
11 of them and uh, just stay tuned till the end of this video and just see the visuals. I've made a list for you of all the written down list and the visuals. So I love y'all and y'all be kind to the Dollar General people out there because they working hard right now. They're working short handed and you know even though they get stressed and sound sharp to you and irritated just be nice back to them because you don't know what kind of day they've been having. They've got shipping they got to deal with. They got employees they got to deal with. They got customers they got to deal with. And <coughs> sometimes that can be stressful on them. And it can affect their personality or the way they respond to you. But anyway, I have one of my stores, and I've told y'all his name's Frank. Well, Frank is getting promoted from a manager of a store to district manager. So, he's the second one I've known in the four years. Um, the one before him was a guy that was at, a manager at my number one store. His name was Cecil. And he got a district manager job. And I ran into him uh, less than a year ago, but I was coming out of one of my stores across town from the one I know he managed, he was coming out. And I, I mean, he was going in and I was coming out. And I stopped and backed up. I said, excuse me. I said, is your name Cecil? And he looked at me and he's like, yeah. And like, do you know me? And I was like, uh, yeah. I was like, wasn't you the manager over there? On? And he goes, yeah. And I said, all right. It's like I hadn't seen you in forever, but I miss you over there. And... So now Frank has got a district manager job, so I hope I'll be running into him somewhere because I ran into him at my number one store because he's already um, making his rounds as a district manager. And uh, he said he won't be at the store that I see him at all the time because he's not working there no more. So, uh, yeah, so people get promotions at the Dollar General, say, yay, we got promotions. But I love it when I see managers getting promoted to the district managers and the, uh, I've seen just regular employees get promoted to the manager. So the Dollar General does promote inside. They're real good about promoting their employees. They don't bring them in always from the outside or from another store. But yeah, so I'm proud of the people I know. I know a lot of employees and sometimes... Um, when I see one and I call them by name, other people look at me like, how do you know them by name? It's like, I've, I've been seeing them forever. So, you know, you kind of do get to know them. And if you're courteous to them and talk to them, uh, you kind of know their names. Uh, they were a name tag and, you know, somehow or another, they just, your names come up. But one thing that never comes up, and I never tell anybody, I never, there's not one manager, not one employee that I've ever told that to. So I always feel like that it might hamper the way they talk to me or uh, respond to me because I have so many Dollar General people that actually help me find pennies. And um, I don't know if they would do that if they knew who I was. But anyway, I'm incognito when I'm up there, but I do run into y'all sometimes, and y'all will say, hey, aren't you Peggy from Peggy's Corner? <laughs> I'm like, yes, ma'am. And uh, I do love it when y'all do recognize me, but not a lot of the Dollar General people watch YouTube, I guess, because they rarely ever recognize me. But anyway, I've gabbed, gabbed, gabbed long enough. So Tuesday morning, uh, January the 10th, y'all go out there, find you some sunscreen. And keep your eyes out for the old pennies because they haven't all reset. A lot of them have reset, but some of them have not. So, now don't forget, now this sun care... That pennies tomorrow on Tuesday, it might affect 
the stores that have the new system, which is no keyboard, just the screen, touch screen, they might be pinning on Wednesday morning. And the uh, stores that had the keyboards are vice versa. One of them, if they got the keyboard, they penny on Tuesday. If they don't have the keyboard touch screen, they penny on Wednesday or something like that. So I paid attention. Let's see the one store that didn't penny on Tuesday. It seemed like it had a keyboard, but I'm not for sure. So I'm still trying to figure that out, but... It very well be tomorrow, I mean Tuesday morning when I go to find this sun, sun care, I might have some stores that it'll ring up regular price at the register because their system is uh, the new system. And the new system, I think, is the ones without the keyboard. And they'll penny on Wednesday morning. And I don't know why. I don't know how the register. It's hooked up some way different because... Um, I thought it all comes from corporate, but uh, obviously the a computer system is behind on the new system for 24 hours versus the old system. I don't know. I'm no computer genius, and I'm not trying to be, but I did build and I made and built manufactured memory chips for computers, but programming and stuff... And how Dollar General operates all that, I just really am not an expert at it. But anyway, y'all look forward to my next video of uh, my dance video. And uh, y'all get up and go Tuesday morning because I'm going to. I'm hoping the weather's going to clear up and get warmer because it's been so cold in the mornings. I had a person tell me about a remodel this morning and I checked at 2 a.m. And yes, everything did penny. And I did not go because I couldn't find anything on that page of that Dollar General app. Syrup was the only thing I found that was 50% off. I've been in that store many, many, many times, week after week after week, because it's on my route. And I couldn't find nothing except clothes and stuff. And, um... That store doesn't have any clothes. It has zero clothes, and uh, all the stuff that was pinning was like kids' socks and stuff, and they just don't have a lot of that stuff. They don't even have, they've got like a little row about uh, four foot for socks and shoes, and that's it, man. I mean, some stores just don't have all those rows of stuff like other stores do, but this particular store that is remodeling, it needs to because. They've just had a big old empty space where all the clothes used to be. Not even racks anywhere or there or nothing. It looks like a dance floor in there. But, um, yeah. So y'all go find you some. I'm going to go find me some. But, adios from North Texas. And goodbye from Cowtown. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.